Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Totally the Toad here. Uh, back from Christmas and New Year's and all of that. We're doing the intro or whatever you call it a bit different today. I'm sorry for the camera's shaking. It's because I'm uh, I'm actually holding the camera. Uh, the reason for that is I'm currently taking down Christmas. So there is so much chaos around me that I'm not even sure where to put my camera right now. However, <laughs> I still wanted to film. So I'm sorry if the picture is a bit shaky. I'm doing what I can right now. Wow, wow, epic intro, wow. So our next project is actually to create the skirt, or actually sew together the skirt of Morrigan, uh, the underskirt of Morrigan from Dragon Age. Picture, maybe like there <laughs> or something. And in order to do that, I felt like we're gonna start just having a bit of a We're gonna have a look at the mannequin and see what's already been done and what we've got left to do. So follow me. Now you can fully see the case from behind as well. Uh, this is where we're at. As you can see, I have started at least adding some trim and some black uh, lace to the, the jacket. It's not completely done. I'm still adding it. The reason I did not make a video of this is because I felt like it's going to be super duper boring for you guys to just sit and watch me hand sew down lace. So there's that. This video, however, is going to be about this red skirt. And I'm going to show you. I've already, as you can see, created some pleats, pleats, pleats. I have done the thing <laughs> and that's just to give the skirt a bit more shape underneath this skirt there's a pair of panniers and the skirt kind of falls down in between here which I don't quite like so I'm probably gonna add another skirt underneath to help with that I've also already zigzagged along the edge to keep it from fraying that's not the focus let's look at that because that's where, where it's focusing if you come around the back with me, you can see that this is a different type of fabric. The reason for that, I tried to make it the same color. You, you won't be able to see this, but I wanted a fabric that's a bit, that's gonna fill out the skirt a bit more. So that's why. Uh, and I've tried just pinning them together. So here's what I'm thinking. We're only gonna sew up to this little pin and not the whole way to the top here. We're going to add um, cord so we can tie the skirt together at the sides, which means we can get in and out of it. It's not completely historically accurate, but it's more accurate than adding any sort of zipper. Probably more like 20 because we'll need to hem this and then just add cords and we can just pull that over our heads. So in order to actually sew this, we're going to have to take it off the mannequin. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you the pennies that I have underneath. So this here is the uh, it's the panniers and as you can see they just attract all sort of stuff so I'm gonna need to wear a, another skirt I think above them also to help with the fact that the fabric keeps like going in between my uh, legs and I'm not sure how historically accurate they are probably not very I made them out of a pair of old uh, sheets that I had lying around so it's basically like a like a D shape, uh, which I added some uh, boning to. You just tie it together with a string in the middle. But anyway, here we have the skirt just lying there and I don't like that. Uh, so we're gonna take that to the sewing machine and we're gonna start by just sewing the top part down with like a straight stitch. And then we'll do the sides, the zigzag stitch to secure it from fraying and uh, I'll meet you at my sewing machine. Hello and uh, welcome to my sewing machine. We're gonna start by just doing a straight stitch to create the pleats, 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 pleats. Uh, 
Uh, I'm terribly sorry about the light in here. This is my bedroom, so I don't really have any sort of setup for the light. And I finished the plate. I'm still not sure if it's called that, but I'm gonna call it that. And uh, if it's wrong, I'm just gonna add some little um, text with the right word next to me. Mm. Uh, so now we're gonna do the sides, and I'm just gonna go with a zigzag. There won't really be any strain on these uh, seams, so I feel like I don't really need a very strong seam. That might be really stupid. <laughs> Oops, forgot to switch seam. Do you guys know why I just realized? If I keep... Wow, this is such a bad lighting, I'm so sorry. If I stop my zigzag here, so that I can add the, the cord to uh, to the ends here. Can you see what I have not, I have not thought about? All of this area... You can't see shit. All of this area won't stop from fraying because there's no zigzag. Um, I have an idea. We're gonna do... I'm gonna... So the ends of these two individually, and then I'm gonna do the last part of the zigzag. We're back at my living room. These are my glasses. I'm not sure if you've seen them before, but here they are. And I have put on the skirt. It's not completely done, but I will show you. Okay, so this is the skirt so far. And I am wearing, uh, well, first of all, pants, but the panniers. It has the right shape. It's very, it's very light. I thought it was going to be heavy, but I mean, it is not. Here. I have just put some pins and I'm just gonna hem this line but I'm not gonna do that on camera because I thought I was gonna hand sew it and uh and then around here I'm gonna I'm not sure if I'm gonna just tuck it down and hem it or if I'm gonna put like a band but then from the bottom of my skirt you can see I've not hemmed it so I have plenty of fabric there from that bottom part of my skirt I'm gonna put out like a string strip strings strips strips yep sew on here and I can instead of pinning it together like I've done now Tie it together. Hang on. So I'm a bit worried that tie that on as well. There we go. So all of that work for just this little strip, but it, it looks good. I think it gives a bit more poof. And I'm ooh, I'm gonna put the. We're back. This is how far we've gotten so far. So this is the jacket and two of the skirts. Are not, nothing is completely, completely done, but I still thought I could show you guys. You can't see the, 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 the lace. This will be covered by this one that I'm working on as well. Just to give you guys an idea, it's gonna go like that. And I feel like it looks so cool so far. I kind of feel like that concludes this should I sit down for this, you guys? Maybe. <laughs> oh dear, there's so much fabric. <laughs> okay, wait, lamp. Okay, proving to you guys that I can totally sit in this skirt and there's actually no problem. Uh, the corset, however, <laughs> would be a different story. And I can see that this is cutting off the, the top of my head. And I'm sorry about that, this is a bit of a... Mm, it's a messy one. I did not really expect myself to be filming it. This concludes. Uh, this video because I don't think you guys want to see me just you know hem stuff with hand sewing if you do if I'm wrong let me know what I have left is add all of the little uh, duds to this skirt uh, I need to add the end parts to my sleeve uh, I think I'm gonna film that one for you because I think it's gonna be a bit tricky and that could be fun 
I need to find some some buttons for the sleeves because I've just pinned these down. They're actually two separate pieces, so if you take off the the pins, you can like they just whoop. But I think I think it's coming along quite nicely. It's my little baby. If you enjoyed this video, messy as it was, give us a like, subscribe, and all of those things. <laughs> Until next time, bye.